I posted a video yesterday that explained how to get a Minim OSD working on a multi-Wii controller um, and uh, have an on-screen display for any FPV flying. That's had some great response, uh, but one of the comments on there was from one of my subscribers, a gentleman called Romeo Turrent, who put me in touch with some other code that will work just as well and gives you some additional options. So very quickly I wanted to cover that. If you're watching this video and you haven't watched the other video that I'm referring to, uh, which is here in the bottom right um, hand corner, then I would suggest that you go and spend some time looking at that. That explains how to do the wiring, the coding, the data lines, troubleshooting, the whole thing is covered in there. All I'm going to talk about in the next two or three minutes is where to go to get this other code and the differences and the benefits of it. So where you get this other code from, you go on to code.google.com slash p slash multiwi hyphen OSD, click on the download links, download version 1.1 of the code, and you'll end up with a mw underscore OSD underscore r 1.1.zip. Here it is on the desktop. Very similar setup in that you have the OSD code itself and the GUI. We very quickly open the OSD code you'll notice that there are a lot more configurable parameters at the top when you look into Arduino and the OSD in particular the GUI is a lot nicer so as you can see here there is a graphical interface so you can turn on and off the individual elements here rather than have to go through a stick um, programming method as you did with the firmware in the previous video and um, you can write that to the board Again in here, make sure that you update and upload the font in here, the buttons on the bottom left hand corner. So sorry for going through this at quite a pace. Um, hopefully that's interesting for those of you who have watched the other video. Um, it gives you an option to try another kind of firmware. So now not only can you get your Minim OSD working, now you've got a choice of how you want your OSD to look and behave. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and happy flying.